What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin and today I'm coming in with a brand new video talking about doing ketamine at school. Now before I get into that, I do want to mention real quick, I apologize for not uploading yesterday. Been working a fuck ton but I have the next couple days off so expect some videos coming out soon. Hope you all are still enjoying the new thumbnails as well and drop a like if you do enjoy this video and without further ado, let's dive right into it. So doing ketamine at school. Now, I know in a couple of my previous ketamine videos, they were very often placed at school. You know, I've, I did K at school fairly often and in small amounts. I never did lines. I always did like a bump tops. But, you know, on this particular day, it was an interesting one. You know, I, it was right before my lunch period. My boy Ashton hits me up he goes, hey, listen, I got some ketamine. Now, this was about a year and a half ago, a little less than that. It was around March of 2016. And at this point in time, I was really heavy into K. And on top of that, he had been out of K for a couple weeks now, but I was still kind of kind of looking for it, you know, kind of fiending for it. So when he told me he had some on him, my heart almost skipped a beat. I was like, bet, let's do some. He was like, lunch? I was like, yeah, definitely. So you know, whenever we, whenever one of us asked the, you know, the other, we were like lunch, that always meant like, meet me in the bathroom, let's do some drugs. So, you know, lunchtime rolls around, you know, we, we both go into the bathroom, we're chilling in like neighboring stalls, there's three stalls in the bathroom at this alternative school I went to, and one of them didn't have a door, so we always had to wait until both of the ones with doors were open, and then we'd sit in there for like 10 minutes and do our thing, you know, so on this particular day, you know, I asked how much he wanted. He said, don't toss me any. It's good. I got you because I gave him a ride a couple days earlier. So I guess this was just him getting me back for it. So, you know, I handed my ID and how we would do it is instead of him like bagging it up and like, you know, scaling it or some shit, we were in a school bathroom. Like we had to do it quick. So he would just kind of scoop out a little bit on the end of like an ID or a debit card and then pass it back under the stall to me. And then I would just rail it right off the card and go about my day. So, you know, he passes back my ID and I rail a pretty fat bump. You know, it was a, it was a definitely an above average bump, but not quite a line. It was like, kind of in between those two categories of or quantities I guess it, it, it was in between it was it was just a fat bump so you know I rail it we're sitting in the stall I hear him rail his shortly after you know he's, he's doing the sniffling he's got the he, he goes you know he, he's sitting there he's like ah you know like you, you could just hear this man fucking loves it and this man was a k fiend like me I liked it. I was kind of a fiend, but this man was next level. Like this guy was on K all fucking day, every single day. So anyways, you know, we hop out of the stalls. I put my ID back in my pocket. I, I don't even put it back in my wallet. I'm just like, fuck it. You know, I go wash my hands. We're chilling, talking a little bit in the bathroom. He brought his vape with, I didn't have my vape with me. So I smacked his a little bit just to, you know, kind of hang out, get a little nicotine in me. I, I still smoked cigarettes at the time, but I couldn't smoke them because we were at school. So vaping in the bathroom was like a nice, you know, a nice alternative to that. So anyways, we're chilling in there. Maybe like another 10 minutes of our lunch period go by. And each of our periods were kind of odd. They were kind of short. I think they were like, there was something like 38 minutes or like 39 minutes. It was a really weird amount of time. And, you know, maybe like 20 or 30 minutes in our period had gone by. And every single lunch period, the principal would come in or like the dean or some some higher up dude would come in and check on the bathroom because he knew that's just where the fuckery went on. So he comes in. And at this point, the K had kind of started to hit me. I was feeling really good. And, you know, the, the thing with K is for those of you guys who haven't done it is... When you hear about it, you hear like, oh, it's a tranquilizer. Oh, it paralyzes you. Oh, it fucks you up. You won't even be able to think. You won't even be able to talk. If you do a sizable quantity, like if, if there's a very fine line between an amount for a party and an amount where you're going to get fucked. And if you do the correct amount, you don't really get, I guess, fucked. You, you more so just you feel way more calm. It's it's like, you know, I've made this comparison in previous K videos, but it's really like being really super crossfaded. I mean, honestly, it's just like being really baked and really drunk at the same time, except there's like a little extra spice thrown in there, like a little extra magic thrown in there. You just don't know what it is. Like, it's a very weird feeling when you just do a small bump and not like a full line or a couple lines or anything like that. So, I'm feeling pretty calm. I'm feeling relaxed. You know, the best way to describe it is really just sedated. You know, I'm just standing there. I'm kicking it. 
My body feels great. My mind is just thinking great things, you know, not even, not even thinking about things that aren't happening. Like I'm focused on the current situation, but I'm just totally okay with it. Like principal comes in, I'm fucked up on K. I probably got some drugs in my bag, whatever. We cooling. Like I'm all right with it. So he just comes in and just yells at us all to get out. He's just like, what the hell are you guys doing in here? We're like, oh, nothing. Just hanging out. He's like, all right, get out here. You know, you can eat in the hall or go eat in the cafeteria. So me and Ashton go sit down in the hallway. We're talking and we have our next class after lunch together. And that class is is I think it was like, I had like three history classes every day. So I don't remember which history class it was. I think it was like, oh God, I think it was like American history or some bullshit, dude. I don't know. I had a bunch of history classes for some reason. And you know, after the bell for lunch rings, you know, the next period goes on. We go to our history class. We sit next to each other. You know, we don't have assigned seats, so we got to pick. So him and I would always sit in the back left corner and just kick it off some sort of drug every single day. And, you know, we're kicking it. We're feeling pretty cade. And neither of us were good students. We didn't do shit for homework. So when our teacher goes to the front of the room and starts passing out quizzes, I got a little concerned. I got just a tad bit worried, you know, quizzes and tests were like pretty frequent at this school, but they were always super easy. On this particular day, we were, you know, not, not fucked up. Like we were, we were fucked up on K, but not like too fucked up to function, but fucked up enough where I could not think of anything academic. I could just be smooth and like act as if I'm not high. That's about the capacity of what I could do at this point. So, you know, I get the quiz in front of me, me and Ashton are sitting next to each other. He's like, bro, do you know any of these? I'm reading over the quiz. I respond to him like four minutes after he asked the question. I just go, no. And he, he he doesn't like remember that he asked me the question. I remember this so well. He's like, what? And I was just like, no, dude, I don't. And he was just, he just didn't even say anything after that. He just like looked at me and then just looked back down. He's just like, oh, you know, and then he just, he just went back to like trying to do his test. And I sat there, I'm reading over all these questions. We were doing like I think we were we were looking at like this the early stages of the civil rights movement at this point in our class and we watched like I remember we watched some movie cuz I was really baked when we watched it and it was like actually a pretty good movie. It was about the civil rights movement. I don't remember what it was called though. I think it was like a something about Emmett Till, I believe. I don't really know, but either way. So, you know, I'm sitting there trying to think so hard. I'm just like, "Fuck, dude." You know, I mean, not not fuck, dude. Like I wasn't really worried. I didn't give a shit. But I was just like, "Damn." what's the answer? Like, (laughs) like I got to know this one. Come on. And I could not pry any answers out of my brain. I could not do it. So I ended up just circling. If it was a multiple choice, I just circled a on all of them. And if it was like a, if it was like a, you know, a fill in the blank or like a, like a short answer kind of question, I just left it blank. Like I, at this point I did not give a flying fuck. You know, that that's, that's one of the like best and worst things about K when you do like a bump of K and just a little bit for like a party, you just really don't give a shit. Like you, you truly do not give a fuck in the world at that point in time. You know, not nothing fucking concerns you. Nothing worries you at all. I could be, I could be getting arrested and I would be totally content with it. In fact, I actually saw Ashton like talking to cops off K one time and he was just not worried at all. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude, I'd be shitting myself. But you know, it, it truly just makes you not give a fuck. So I turn in this test after this, we go our separate ways. Ashton and I had different classes. I'm still feeling pretty good. You know, I I go to my next class and it's maybe, I don't remember what class this was because this is a while ago and I I showed up fucked up to this school just every day. So I, I genuinely have a hard time remembering my schedule, but I believe it was either like, no, wait, that was before lunch. After the history class, there was something in between my geometry class. It was geometry and then two classes before geometry, was, which was my last class, excuse me, was the American history class. And I think, what the fuck was it? Oh, no, yeah, I remember. I had two gym periods. I remember this. I had two gyms because in my junior year, first semester, I failed my gym class at my like original school before I transferred because I never showed up. Like I just never did anything. If I showed up, I did nothing. If I, you know, if I half the time I would just leave early. Like I would just go home early as fuck. But anyways, so, you know, I go to this gym class and not really much to say about it. I mean, this class, I didn't really have many friends in. So, you know, what I would do is I would just kind of go kick it outside and like hang out. Cause he would leave, you know, our gym teacher, like basically every day was just like a walk around and do what you want day. Like we never had like specific things to do. Cause our gym was in the cafeteria. 
So we like, we, we literally just played basketball all day, but it wasn't mandatory. Like as long as you were doing something standing up, you could, you could get an A, you know? So sometimes like our teacher would take us on walks if it was nice out and like some people would go, some people wouldn't. I would always go with cause like it was nice, you know, it was like a little pond we'd walk around. It'd be nice and sunny out. I'd fuck with the vision. And on this particular day, he didn't take us on a walk. All we did was, you know, the side door was open. And I just kind of stood out the side door and like looked at cars driving by and shit. Didn't really do shit. So after that, geometry came around. Ashton was in my geometry class. You know, we, we rendezvous. We meet up once again. And we're kicking it in geometry. At this point, I'm feeling good. I'm coming down a little bit, but I'm still feeling good. You know, my peak is definitely past. And, you know, we're, we're kicking it. Geometry teacher is doing his thing, teaching his shit. And I, I say teaching very loosely because this man didn't really teach. He just kind of like handed out worksheets and then would give us answers if we didn't know them. So it was more so like I would sit next to Ashton in the back of class and he would ask me for answers or like, offer me like a tab of acid to do his assignment and i'd be like all right bet but i'd ask him i'd be like bro do you realize all these answers are going to be wrong right like i I would ask him this every time and he'd always be like yeah dude honestly i'm just too lazy to write this shit you can i don't even care if they're wrong just do it I'll, i'll give you something so that that was the typical maneuver on this day he did the same thing he was like yo nick i was like what's good and he leaned over and kind of that like just just that look on him that's just like, man, this guy is fucked. This guy is slumped. This guy is off something. And he leans over and he's just like, yo, Nick, dude, you think you could do this paper for me? And he would always say it in that like quiet, like tired tone. He'd be like, dude, you think you could do this for me? So <laughs> I was like, yeah, pass it over. So he like scoots over next to me. So like when the teacher came over, he could just say, oh, he's showing me how to do it. So you know, he scoots like really close to me, like right over next to me. And he's like leaning over, watching me write the answers off my paper. And our teacher comes over and our teacher's name is Mr. Rizio. And that was a funny motherfucker right there. Let me tell you. And he came over, do kind of look like a frog, by the way. It was kind of funny, but either way he came over, he's asking what we're doing. I'm just like, Oh, you know, just showing Ashton how to do this. He's like, Oh, okay. Can I see how you're doing it? And I was like, fuck shit. So you know, he, he asked me to like show him an example of like how I got the answer to one of the problems. So the very first problem was the easiest one, but I still didn't know if I got it right. Cause I just kind of guessed. So I ended up like working out the problem for him. And I don't think I even got the answer right. But since I showed my work, he was just like, okay, nice job. And he just got up and walked back to his desk. I like, I, I don't think I got it right whatsoever. I'm pretty sure I fucking butchered that math equation, but either way he accepted it. So he went back to his desk, you know, the rest of class, we just kind of sat there talking, doing whatever bell rang. I went home, Ashton went home. It was an interesting day. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like if you did. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.